Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the MIDI editor preferences in Reaper. So we track in front of us here with a bunch of MIDI items. There's some drums, a conga, and a flute. And the drums have multiple items on the same track. One for the kick, snare, and hi-hat. And then the conga and the flute have multiple items as it goes through the song. But only one item playing at the same time. So let's hear what it sounds like. So when it comes to our MIDI editor, we can decide the workflow that we want to use at any given time. Let me show you. By default, if we double click an item, let's say the conga, it opens up to a MIDI editor and it just shows that one editor. Right down here, you can see it for conga. But if I double click this one, it opens up another one. So we have two different editors, one for each item. This one, and this one. And we can see it down here. We can switch between them. Let's do the same thing for our flute. Double click it. It also opens up as its own editor. Again, you can see it down here. Flute. And we can switch between them just by double clicking them. So if I want to edit this conga, or this conga, or this one, or this snare, or this hi-hat. But in this mode, the default mode, we can only edit or see one at a time. So if I wanted to edit the kick, snare, and hi-hat all at the same time, I could select them all, double-click them, and they all open up with different editors. Here's our kick. Here's the hi-hat. And here's the snare. So we can't really edit them together. So in this situation, we might want to work differently. And that's where the MIDI editor preferences come in. Let's open up our preferences. If we go down here, under editing behavior, we can choose this option here, MIDI editor. And from here, we can change that behavior. By default, it's set to one MIDI editor per item, which is what we've been using but we can change that behavior over here. So let's switch it to track. And now we'll get one editor per track. So let's select our kick, snare, and hi-hat. We'll double click them. And we see all our drums in one editor. See it's all in one. So I play it. I can then edit the drum part all in one window. Here's the hi-hat, the snare, and the kick. So if you prefer this workflow, make sure you switch it over here to track. And it's also going to work on multiple items on the same track, like our conga. Double click this one, we get a whole new editor just for the conga, because it's based on the track. So right now we're just seeing one, but if we select them all, and double click, we see them all. This item, this item, and this item, which you can go directly to by double clicking it. But it's one editor per track. We could also use this feature in the preferences right over here. Behavior for open items in built in MIDI editor. If we choose track, we might want to choose this option over here. Open all MIDI on the same track. So now, instead of selecting all these items first, we can just double click one of them and the whole track shows up because we chose the option open all MIDI on the same track. And it'll work the same way for the Kunga. Instead of selecting them all, just select any of them and it all opens up. And the flute. All the items show up for that track. And we can move to them 
just by double clicking. Go back to the conga or the drums. Now there's still one other mode we can choose from. And that's this one right here, project. This will put our entire project in one MIDI editor. So we can choose this and notice it opens up a bunch of other options, which we'll get to in a bit. But before we use this, we can also change the preference here. Instead of opening all MIDI on the same track, we can change this to open all MIDI in the project. So if we choose this, along with this, we can double click any MIDI item, like the Kunga, and it all opens up. So you can see all our MIDI in one editor. Now it can get confusing, sing it all together. Let's hear it. Our flute is up here, and it kind of intertwines with the conga. But if we want to edit just the flute, just go to it, double click it, and we'll just see the flute. The other stuff's grayed out. Go to this one, or we'll go to the conga. We can just see the conga instead of seeing all of it at the same time. Now there's a few other options when you choose project down over here and they're all on by default. The first option will have active MIDI items follow selection changes in a range view. So with this turned on, and we double click, like you saw before, choosing them here adjusts what we see here. Just choose it, or double click it to see it like this, to see them grayed out. But we could just choose it. The kunga, the flute, all the flutes, and again, that's on by default. If you don't want that behavior, just turn it off. These next two options work together. When they're turned on, which they are by default, media item selection is linked to visibility and editability. So if we double click it, it all opens up, but we can see them just by choosing them right here, making it easier to edit them but you could also turn them off so they're not linked. Then down over here, only MIDI items on the same track as the active item are editable. So when this is turned on, double click it, and we select it, only those items can be edited, not the others. Even though we could see them all like this. Only edit the flute, only the drums, only the kunga, even though we could see it all. And we could turn it off if we don't want that behavior. And then finally, we can close editor when the active item is deleted. So if we go back here, double click the item, it all opens up. But if we choose this and just see this one and then delete it, it closes the MIDI editor. And if we don't want that behavior, just turn this off. Open it up, choose this one, and if we delete it, the MIDI editor stays open. So we can choose others to edit instead. But again, this is on by default. Now, if you forget how this works, you can go right down here, and there's a good explanation of most of what we covered in this video. So you can go over it again in case you forget. But the one other thing I should mention is that everything we did in this video is also going to apply to the notation editor. So if we open it up again by the project, we could switch it by right clicking here, go to musical notation, and then it shows up as notes. But all the same rules apply. So we want to work on the flute, just choose that. And now we can see our flute. Or our conga, or the drums, and it all shows up in the same editor. But if we switch it back to track, 
the same thing applies. Choose the kunga. Let me see the kunga right here. Or open the flute. And the flute opens up on its own editor. So it'll work with the notation editor the same way. So that's pretty much it. That's the MIDI editor preferences in Reaper. It gives us the option of choosing our own workflow for editing MIDI. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.